Little Orphan Annie by James Whitcomb Riley. Little Orphan Annie's come to our house to stay and wash the cups and saucers up and brush the crumbs away and shoo the chickens off the porch and dust the hearth and sweep and make the fire and bake the bread and earn her board and keep. And all us other children, when the supper things is done, we sit around the kitchen fire and has the mostest fun a listening to the witch tales that Annie tells about and the goblins that get you if you don't watch out. Once there was a little boy wouldn't say his prayers, so when he went to bed at night away upstairs, his mammy heard him holler and his daddy heard him bawl, and when they turned the covers down, he wasn't there at all. And they seeked him in the rafter room and cubby hole and press, and seeked him up the chimbley flue and everywheres, I guess. But all they ever found was his pants and roundabout, and the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And one time, a little girl would always laugh and grin and make fun of everyone and all her blood and kin. And once, when there was company and old folks was there, she mocked them and shocked them and said she didn't care. And this, that she kicked her heels and turned and run and hide. There was two great black things a-standin' by her side, and they snatched her through the ceiling, for she knowed what she's about. And the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. And little orphan Danny says, when the blaze is blue, and the lampwick sputters, and the wind goes woo, and you hear the crickets quit, and the moon is gray, and all the lightning bugs and dew are all squenched away. You better mind your parents and your teachers fond and dear, and cherish them as loves you, and dry the orphan's tear. And help the poor and needy ones that, that clusters all about. Or the goblins will get you if you don't watch out. <laughs>